Danny was by far the most popular programming YouTuber amassing a subscriber base of around 3.5 million subscribers with every video averaging around 10 million views but just when everybody thought Danny was unstoppable he disappeared leaving us with two questions where did Danny go and when will he come back? After having a turbulent story of trying to be successful on YouTube, Danny managed to have great success. But his last upload on his main channel was over a year ago, and the last video from his second channel, Danny2, was also 7 months ago. There also hasn't been any activity on his community tabs either, so where is he if he's not active on YouTube? Thankfully, Danny has linked his social media in his about page on YouTube, where a few hints about his activity can be found. While there is no findable activity on Instagram, Facebook or Twitch, Danny seems to be somewhat active on his Twitter account. The last tweet was on October 14, 2022, where simply the word Carlson was written. Some people theorized and thought that this would mean Danny's comeback, and possibly with him even releasing Carlson. I'd say it's safe to assume we can expect something very soon from Danny. I think it's time to welcome this legend back. Which was a 3D game Danny was working on that started development in 2019 after a viewer challenged him to do so in the comment sections. Why you don't try make a 3D game? Or you can't do that? His fanbase seems to be very polarized if he should come back or not. Under his Carlson tweet, people were either replying with messages like Come back please, sad smiley face. You've taken too long to come back, please bring legendary content back. Or they were saying Hey Danny, glad to see you back. Hope you're doing well. Ignore all the people who keep gaslighting you about the release date of Carlson. Take it easy and don't rush. Have a good day, mate. However, when you go to Danny's like tweets, you can find that he is still active. He has been liking posts where he has been tagged in by followers, with the newest post being from January 19. He even liked Greta Thunberg's post which he made during the Andrew Tate controversy. He was also found being active in some YouTube comment sections from other creators. Great, now we at least know that Danny isn't dead. And also that he hasn't quit the internet completely. But why isn't Danny uploading? To answer this question, we might need to go to Danny's subreddit named r slash Danny Dev, which has around 170,000 members. 70,000 more than our 2023 subscriber goal of 100k on our channel, so don't forget to subscribe. Since Danny disappeared, his Reddit fanbase doesn't have much to post about on a subreddit. Surprisingly enough, the subreddit is still fairly active with many posts being made every day. However, the posts reach from people making completely obnoxious theories. I have a theory, so as we all know, this is Danny's last video. If you skip to second 30, you can hear a song starting to play. This is a song in Hebrew that's called... The song basically talks about a wedding and is very commonly sung at Jewish weddings. So the theory is, Danny got married and quit YouTube. Prove me wrong in the comments. To just bizarre and kind of off topic questions like posts asking people to list their top 3 Norwegians. There even was a poll asking people if Danny will come back before April Fools where you could bet your tokens. But there were also some other posts made that are very interesting. One post argued that on a steam page of Danny's game Carlson, there used to be a sign that said date coming soon. However, right now it only says coming soon, which led to many of his fans believing that Carlson is one step closer to coming out. People weren't really in agreement about whether this change was on Danny's or Steam's side. Something on Steam's side, not Danny's if I'm correct. Only Danny can change that, if you see on SteamDB, it tells you what probably Steam did. Danny controls that, not Steam. Danny controls Steam. But in most of these posts where Danny's activity was questioned, the most common answer was to leave him alone, in which they are completely right. Unlike other developers, Danny hasn't made any promises to upload videos, publish the game on a certain date, or isn't being paid by his community to do his job. He is completely dependent on himself, so it doesn't make much sense to tell him to come back, because he doesn't really owe his community anything. The subreddit concluded that he's either just taking an extended vacation, or that he is still working, either on Carlson or a new project. But this is all just too speculative and the only source that can really be trusted is Danny himself. To prove either of these theories provided by the subreddit, we have to go to no other place than Danny's discord server named Danny's Basement, which was also linked in the about page of Danny's YouTube channel. Even if many people wouldn't expect this, Danny's discord server is still very active. A funny thing to note is that the discord server still has the Christmas hat as its profile picture. And to clear up all uncertainties about Danny's death, you can literally see that he is online. But he isn't only online in his discord, he is also sometimes participating in various conversations with his fanbase. And of course, since his fanbase wants to have a clear answer to what his status is and when he will come back, he was bombarded with questions. This conversation should give you a lot of information. Danny, when next video? 
and was gonna do December and then January, but uh, we started to look like February out here. 2023 February, right, lol? Nah, February 26-9. I am talking about next video, not Carlson. Oh shit, yeah. Uh, this February, hopefully, he is really poggers, trust. How's the vid going? I mean, haven't started making the vid yet, but the game is going good. As you can see from these texts, Danny seems to be working on a game. But what is the game that he's talking about? Is he working on a game that was already made or is he starting a completely new project? According to itch.io, Danny has worked or is working on these games. Crab Game, Muck, Jelly Drift, Rerun, Oga Boga, a YouTuber tournament, Milkman Carlson, Bad Game, The 3D Carlson, Party Rocket, Tree Team, The 2D Carlson, a triangle game, Balls, question mark, Off the Balls, and finally, fair and square. Most of these games are small projects, but his biggest projects are Crab Game, Muck and Carlson. It is very unlikely that Danny is still working on Crab Game because of a statement in his last video on the main channel. As for the future of Crab Game, I don't think I will be updating it much more. It just became much bigger than I anticipated and I wasn't even planning on updating the game at all. And it's just generally incredibly stressful and no matter what I update or change, there's always people that complain or demand I do things the other way. If I update the game, people tell me to stop updating it. If I don't, people tell me to update the game. So for my own mental health and just stress levels, I don't think I will be working much on the game anymore. So we can cross that out. So we are left with Carlson and Muck. If any of these two games had to be the case, it's likely that Carlson is the game that he is currently working on. Because of the tweet he made where he simply says Carlson, and also because of the switch from date coming soon to only coming soon on the Steam page of Carlson. We could spend some more time arguing whether or not Danny is working on Carlson or Muck, but again, this is all just way too speculative. So, once again, we need to head to Danny's Discord server to find more information. In a channel named Evil's Shitpost in August of 2022, there was an image of an iron ingot uploaded with the title Very Funny Meme You Will Understand When Danny Reveals Next Project. It also seems like that you are looking at this image from the perspective of someone wearing binoculars, which could be a hint to what Danny's game is all about. On January 2022, Danny said that the project that he is working on is very huge, in which he probably didn't lie because it's been more than a year since the devlog came out. But there are two images uploaded by Danny that reveal a lot about the game. A user asked, hey Danny, can we have a game leak? Danny responded with, hmm, no. However, a few messages later, Danny changed his mind. Okay, I will give you a leak. Was making some rocks and then accidentally made a car. How the f do you accidentally stretch a rock model perfectly in that position? LMAO, okay listen, there are three different models, I placed them randomly and it turned out like that. Hmm, I have an idea, adding grass. Thanks, but already got grass. Since these two images don't look much like Carlson or Muck, you could conclude that he's been working on neither of these games, but a completely new project, as stated. Besides that, Danny hasn't given much information about the status of the game. However, a guy named Ziranko theorized about how this game might look like. He argued that because of his previous games, the game might be a real-time strategy game like Dota or League of Legends, or maybe an RPG game like Undertale. Now, why is Danny taking so long? We are talking about a full year here, so why can't he just hurry up? As Danny mentions a lot in his videos, game development isn't something that is done easily and especially not quickly. Then I made the gun rotate towards the rope, which was an easy task for me. I totally didn't spend five hours trying to figure out how to do it. I wanna die. Anyway, here are the seven lines of code that took me five hours to figure out because who the flying f knows how a quaternion works. Danny also seems to be getting death threats from his fanbase for not finishing Carlson or generally hate for delaying it for so long. On his second last video, he talks about this in detail. It's at the point where I'm actually getting like death threats in my in my inbox because I'm not posting Carlson devlogs and it's it's kind of weird. And so I think it's just all that pressure is making it very hard to to work on Carlson the way that I want to. Since Danny is a content creator, his fanbase's expectations rise higher and higher with every video that he uploads. So it is only normal for him to take some time to finish his game in order to meet these expectations. And now try to combine game development with producing highly edited YouTube videos. If you have done any of these two activities, you know how exhausting both practices are. Therefore, another fact that might be exhaustion, which is kind of natural regarding the quality of the content he produced, which did not only lead him to massive success on YouTube, but which even led to him dominating Twitch for a good period of time. So at the end of the day, we might expect something from Danny very soon, or we might also not. It's up to him to create games and videos, 
And I think we can all agree that Danny taking time out for himself and stuff that he likes is very well deserved. He has also inspired many people to start video game development which is also something that should be considered. Shout out to this guy who helped me find information on the discord server. Before you click off, don't forget to hit subscribe so we can get one step closer to our goal of 100k subscribers before the end of 2023.